is not a date. Okay. Just two colleagues having dinner. Well, whatever it is, I'm glad you invited me because I really needed a break. Yeah. Is the station still swamped with reporters? It's crazy. It's like they lived there ever since Greenlee's trial and Scott Chandler's arrest. Oh, I'm glad you got the hell out of there. Me too. Huh? There they are. Oh. Frankie and Randy. I thought it'd be fun to make this a foursome. Couldn't be alone with me, huh? Hey. <laughs> Golly, that is one serious dress, Miss Thing. Thank you. Hey, and what about me? Hey, Frankie. If you want attention, you have to wear the dress, man. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> is it new? Yeah, it's uh, part of my prep work for Fusion's new marketing campaign. Oh, yeah? What you selling? Love and marriage. You two interested? So what's the product? Okay. It's this whole marketing campaign that's centered around Fusion's new perfume. Mm -hmm. It's called I Do. Subtle. Yeah. Now, is there something in the bottle that caps the nerves in guys' legs and makes them drop down to one knee? <gasps> Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Pay them no attention, they're oh, boys. I will. <laughs> anyway, it's for brides, brides to be, and I don't know, any woman who's basically in love. So, what do you think? I like it. Sure you do. No, seriously, I do. I mean, we know it takes a long time for guys to work up the nerve to pop that question. Now you just give them the perfume. It takes a little more than that, homie. Okay, then you bring a ring and you say it from the bottom of your heart, will you marry me? Natalia? Huh? What do you think? To be honest, I... I think it puts a lot of pressure on a woman, you know, with the whole marriage thing. Really? Yeah. I mean, I think Fusion should launch a companion perfume for women not interested in getting married. They should call it, I don't. Wow. Wow, real romantic, aren't you? I do. Nice. Nice enough for you to change your mind on the whole marriage thing? <laughs> See, I remember when we got married, and it was the best day of my life. Isn't that Aww. nice? Mine, too. Yeah, see, but you didn't have that big, splashy wedding we're talking about now. With the flowers, the fancy dress, church, the whole nine. True, but I don't think I could have handled it at the time, babe. I mean, there was so much already changing in my life. I didn't want that spotlight. And what about now? Now I say bring it on. Oh, <laughs> see what a white dress can do for you? <laughs> Seriously, I get to be the bride for everybody in this campaign. I'm not sure if I like the sound of that. True. What I mean is that I, I get to have all the fun without any of the pressure, none of the stress. It's every woman's dream, and I get to live it. Hmm. Well, not every woman's dream. Oh, that is it. Oh, big smile. Yeah. <laughs> Again, and oh, beautiful. Yes. Your fiance is one lucky man. No, I'm the lucky one. Mm. God, he is so smart. He's funny. He's sweet. He's in the forest, too. Well, let's get him over here. Hey, groom. Groom, come here. Take a picture with your bride-to-be. Natalia, huh. what? Would you just go? I was just thinking about work. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really think this is for me. I can't really just commit to one perfume. So, is there going to be a groom at this wedding campaign? Um, of course, there's going to be a groom. How sad would it be if there was just a bride alone on her big day? Right? Man, better watch himself, not get too carried away. Baby, I would not worry about Seth. He's engaged to a good friend of mine. Love is definitely in the air. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Are we boring you? Oh, no, no, um... You know what, guys? I'm sorry. I gotta get back to the station. Right now? What? Yeah. I'll see you guys later. What was that about? I have no idea. I'm thinking about 
changing things up a little bit with my hair. Finally going after the faux hawk? I'm serious, babe. I, I want to stay current. You know, in this business, one day you're in and then the next day you're Don't let the pressure get to you. Look, please don't take this the wrong way, babe. You know that I love you and I love spending all my time with you. It's just that... But it's not enough. I never said that. Look, I understand that modeling's important to you. I do. But you are beautiful just the way you are. Don't look at this as if it's something bad. Life is great. I'm great. I feel great. I mean, Frankie, looking back, I was living on the streets selling myself, being physically abused. That's the hell that I came from. But you're not in that place anymore. No, I'm not. Thanks to you. Thanks to you that I'm a new woman in a new life. I'm finally proud of myself, and I'm so proud of everything that I'm accomplishing. It's about getting a second chance. It's about where I came from and now where I can go. I need to push this to see how far I can get. And I hope that you understand that. Looks like I got an ambitious wife on my hands. Can you handle it? Yeah, I can handle it. Oh. It's a hospital. I should take this, but you are beautiful. You got that? Yes, sir.